Don't worry about it. Oh shit. Shit houses. Shit houses. We good? There's no need to exchange insurance details, I don't think. Hey guys, Jimmy here, and welcome back to another video. Now, yesterday, for us normal plebs, Cyberpunk 2077 released. I've been just lusting after this game for years. In fact, I bought this game last year as a present to myself on my birthday, and of course, with 40,000 delays, we can now finally get in and play it. And one of the things the guys at CD Projekt Red made very clear is that all the cars had a lot of detail put into them, had real life sound samples, they had consultants in for the design and stuff like that. So I thought, given that I'm a sim racing degenerate and that I want more excuses to play Cyberpunk whenever I can, can I get my Fanatec direct drive wheel to work in Cyberpunk 2077? Now initially this sort of posed a bit of a problem because the way Cyberpunk is set up it only accepts inputs from your gamepad or from your PC and mouse and the steering wheel is neither of those things. So you have to do a little bit of trickery and you can do this a couple of ways. First of all, you can download the input program which fools your computer into thinking your steering wheel is a Xbox controller or you can do it through Steam Big Picture which is what I did. So for all you budding sim racers, you want to go into settings here, go into controller settings. Then I used um, Xbox and configuration support and down here originally it said Fanatec DD1 Podium and I clicked into that, went into define layout and then set all my buttons using this little handy configuration tool. I'm not sure how but I'll try and export this profile for people if they want to give it a go for themselves. Anyway, let's jump in to Cyberpunk with a wheel. Yeah, <laughs> let's just sim racing content. Love it. Okay then, so I've just booted up an earlier save. I've got all my stuff mapped on the wheel. We should theoretically be able to drive, though I'm not sure how well we'll be able to move around sort of the world here. So this should hopefully move me left and right. It does. Okay. Okay, so I can do that. Okay, so I can basically, I have tank controls, but my neck is fused in one position. Let's see if we can get outside. The door's here, I think. Yes! So I'm trying my best now to not show off any story or anything. Um, I've made it out of my little, my little hut, and now we're going to try and go find our car, which is there, floating in the air. Fantastic. So let's get to about here. Move over to it. This actually is going to work. Oh, my God. Uh, what did I map as X? Uh, that one? No. We're in the car! Right, so how do I... So I'm going to use my keyboard to switch the camera to our onboard view. And there we are! Time to go sim racing in Cyberpunk! Now, I've forgotten what I've set all my buttons to, but I'll say that I can't... My pedals don't work in this game because the way I had to set it up, I can only use the wheel and the axis of the wheel. I can't use any other controller. Maybe I can do that in the future, but right now this is an easy fix. I'm going to try and go for a drive. So I've forgotten what I've set on my buttons to trigger. Okay, so there's a lot of rotation before I get any steering here. Let me, let me very quickly fix that. Okay, that kind of works. Right. Oh, it's happening. It's working. Okay, there's a massive dead zone in the center. But we're all... <laughs> oh, no. It's so hard. It's so difficult to do this. There is a massive dead zone. This is worth a Twitter update, I think. So you guys said to uh, do both when I said make cyberpunk content or make sim racing content. Let go! Oh no, it's so t <laughs> There are still some bugs to iron out. Man, all the scum fire in my driving test, dude. Um, but how do I solve this massive dead zone issue? I'm not sure if I can. Let's see if we can get out there. So really, I've got to treat this like the T-Racer. There's access, but then nothing in the middle. Okay, so that's going to require some interesting driving technique. Well, let's go. Let's get her up to speed. Full throttle for a while. Can I get through this traffic if I am being sneaky? There you go. This sort of, sort of works. Oh, God, it's so bright. Why is it so bright? Well, the brake doesn't really work. Oh, Jesus. Hello, friends. Hello. Man, this is intense. This is, this is so difficult. 
Okay, but I'm really glad that I can bring you this merger of sim racing and cyberpunk content because I've wanted to play this game for absolutely ages, but of course my channel wasn't about this sort of game. But look, we can make it about this game. <laughs> this is not a viable alternative to the Xbox controller. I can tell you that now. I feel like I haven't got much speed though. Maybe we should go try and do a top speed run somewhere. Try and find a highway or something. Do I have a handbrake mapped? Oh, I do. I do. That's, that's, that's changed everything. I tried to hit my throttle pedal then. That's how ingrained that is in my mind. Mate, it's too bright right now. Let's, uh, so now it's night time because it's night city, right? Might as well be driving around at night. Oh God, this is not going well. So we're gonna get onto a highway. I'll try to anyway, and go for some top speed tests. I reckon we can get some good speed out of this car. It's like the starter car. I'm not sure if you can get other cars in the game. You probably can. I haven't got that far yet. But we have got onto the highway. So now it's time to really open her up. Right, come on. I do have my handbrake in case things go wrong. Get that speed up. This feels very slow. That's all you got. Get in there slowly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no! <laughs> Apparently we can't go that way. Apparently not. Yeah, the main thing, as you can probably see I'm experiencing, is this. This massive dead zone in the center. I'm not sure if there's a way I can tweak that out. Let me see if I can quick. Well, I guess now we should find something to do. I don't really know. Like, now, now that I've got it sort of sort of working, the dead zone thing hasn't actually worked that well, to be honest. I'm not really sure of what, what to do. I don't really do much driving in this game. You sort of do a lot of other things instead. So I guess let's go find some trouble. Time for some bona fide street racing. Now, I've got a brake set to the left paddle. The right paddle is accelerate. And of course, the wheel is to steer. My pedals do nothing. They, they don't work at all in this game. So it's basically just trying to find something that works okay, and then you're good. And look at this sim racing skills going on right now. Oh my God, this is intense. Excuse me. Maxing out 140 mile an hour. Then we're gonna handbrake turn it. Oh yes, <laughs> drift. <laughs> oh God, no, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't wanna be here. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. Don't worry about it. Oh, shitters. Shit houses. Shit houses. We good? No need to exchange insurance details, I don't think. The thing with Cyberpunk and, of course, the cars is that they're only really made as a means of transport. There aren't really any physics to them at all. Not, not properly anyway. So, you know, you can't bang it down again, drift it around corners, stuff like that. You sort of just have accelerate brake and a kind of turn. The handbrake does do things, as I sort of showed before. But you can't really carry a slide at all. Which is a shame. I was sort of hoping the cars have a sort of GTA style feel to them. Because then I could do more with them. But it's it's still fun regardless. It's cool that you can sort of do this. The problem is though that you can't use like your controller at the same time. So if you, if you want to use like an Xbox controller at the same time as doing this, uh, you can't. But if you want to use a mouse and keyboard, you can definitely have a mouse and keyboard sort of for walking around doing things. And then... Sorry, and then jump into this um, and use a wheel when you want to use a wheel for driving. If you want to do that, of course, but I can't see why you would, given how just terrible. Fucking hell. So it does, of course, it does work in third person as well, if you want to be Super GT. Hello. Sorry, mate. Oh, my God. This just reminds me. Hello, friends. Sorry. Am I in your way? Oh, no. Gotcha. This is our first unintentional police chase. Let's go. Run away! <laughs> oh no! The the way this car moves, or rather doesn't move, doesn't quite match the uh, quite intense pursuit music, but I guess we survived on skill and dexterity alone. I wonder if I can bust a mad turn here. Oh yes! Oh no! <laughs> can you run people down in this game? Oh! Oh, you can. Leave me alone, re. Car's fine. Car is fine. Don't worry about any of that fire. That's normal. Let's just go faster fire. That's some cyberpunk shit. It's futuristic. <laughs> this is basically just the center of London, the simulator. If you step out into the road, that's it. Crunch. Dead. No more. But yeah, that answers the question pretty well. Can you use a steering wheel in Cyberpunk 2077? And the answer is yes. It just sort of sucks quite a lot. I'm sure with a bit more time I could tweak it and make it work a little bit better, but for the purpose of this video, it worked okay. I think in the future I'm really going to come back to it and try and make it work well, but I'm happy that we can do this. Also because I really want to play Cyberpunk and it's hard to balance 
doing work and, and this at the same time. But if you did enjoy the video, feel free to tap that like button, subscribe, do all the cool stuff. Um, there's actually a cyberpunk car in a set of courses so i might try that out at some point i don't really know let us know if you're interested as always a big thank you to my patrons and sponsors take care have an awesome day see you all next time